Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome into the Learning Lab. In today's episode, I'm revisiting a video that I filmed in early June and I'm coming back now to share with you what I've done using some laser compatible transparency. So um, without any further ado, come on in and let's get started. I printed it out on a transparency sheet to see if it worked. Again, I use my brother's scan and cut to cut that out. And, oh, check it. Man, there it is. And uh, see how it works with being foiled. Woohoo! Now, I was told you can use uh, paper sheets as your carriers because these are going to wear out so quickly. I don't know. But now, I do know that I want to run my transparencies through. So what I've done is just made a paper carrier for myself and I am going to take this heat setting down to one because I'm not sure how it's going to react. About right here ought to do it. I know, I'm stingy. But I like to call myself conservative. Much better. Now these little pretty puppies go back down. And this goes on top. And using my paper carrier, will send it through. Don't know if I need, you know what? To be on the safe side, I think I'm gonna put this between two pieces of um, folded copy paper. That way, if there's any melting or anything suspicious going on, I'll be okay. Now remember, if you're doing things with your machine that your machine says you shouldn't do, it would probably void your warranty, so be careful with that. On about five minutes, so I stopped the camera, but as you can see, it's on one, and it, and now this is pretty long, so it's gonna take it a while to go through, but also I wanted to share with you this little design that I bought from Colorbox, and they are little hearts, and they come like glue, and you adhere them to your paper, and then you can foil on top of them. So I thought, well, let's see if this works with the mink. Well, I went ahead and pulled them out and cut this little piece apart. And let me just tell you, I have a dickens of a time trying to get this to lift off and bring a clean image with it. But, you know, I got something close to that. So I pulled out a piece of scrap paper that I have and we'll put our heart on there. Then you burnish this into it. And then you gently lift it off. And according to the directions, I should be able to foil it, glitter it, and do all manners of things with it. So there's the sticky heart on there. There it is. Nice sweet spot. So there it is. And let's put some glitter some foil on there and uh, we'll see what happens. This is not going through the machine. And now here's what I've done with some of my leftover foil. I'll just put it in here because, you know, it's not going back into that baggy thing. So I just decided to make a carrier out of this and I'm hoping it won't lay around so long that, um, you know, it'll drive me insane. But I think a silver heart might be great. I'm not gonna use these pieces because I wanna try to put them onto a black carrier piece and um, see how that comes across. Ooh, there's some silver right there. Nice little sliver for the heart. We'll put this over top. So we're just going to burnish this in. See if I can come in a little closer. Slide the meat puppy out of the way. So let's do the unveiling. And wow. That's pretty. So there it is. There's a sweet spot. That. So what I've decided I'm going to do is to um, copy this <laughs> and run this through my mink machine and I can foil my hearts that way because I don't know if these are just old but a lot of the glue is just not in the right place and so many of the hearts are misshapen. And if you saw my Michaels Hall video I loaded up on these, so that'll be a, a good use for them. And it doesn't come off. It's like the glue, 
if you did that uh, special kind of glue and I don't even know if you need a special kind you know if you've got a nice glue it just might work don't know if it did anything I can see where it's um, pressed down on the paper but let's do the reveal I always love doing the reveal and these are simply stunning look at the foiling on the transparency this just opens up an entire new avenue for uses with your foil I used a paper carrier because I didn't want the transparency to somehow melt in to the one that came with it it might be safe to use that way but to be on the safe side I used a paper carrier this is the one with the purple deco foil as you can see this transparency turned out beautifully I love it as always thank you for joining me in the lab please be sure to check out my soon to be updated blog at inkallusions.blogspot.com until then